Okay, so here's the latest cake. That. That's just some cake dust. Anyway, here's the latest cake. This is a cake for a bridal shower. I'm trying to get it where it's not picking up some of that outside light. This is um, 11 by 15 sheet cake on the bottom. This is an oval shaped cake, the next size, an oval shaped cake. I believe that's about seven and a half by eight. Can't quite remember. And then under the roses is a half round cake, a ball shaped cake pan, but it's a half round. Um, these are buttercream roses. If you can get that there. All on the top of the cake. On the bottom part of the that round I put um, rosettes um, and rosettes because you can see them on the bottom because the cake is rounded these flowers these buttercream flowers will actually slide off the cake so I put the rosettes at the base give you an illusion of it all being filled with roses and then the um, the more detailed roses I put across all across and as I said everything all of this is buttercream her colors are burgundy and silver, uh, not silver, burgundy gray. And um, her dress is like an antique white color. Um, this bow is made of um, a fondant gum paste mixture. And then um, I saw a picture of her wedding dress. Um, of, and it had if you can see here, it had lace all around the top part of her dress. So I tried to, they weren't very particular about the design that they wanted on the cake. Um, I've known her, um, the bride's mother and her aunt for approximately 15 years because we all worked together at QVC. But um, I did something called, I can't remember the technique, it's either Cornelia Lace or Sotus. I don't even remember at this moment, but this is, um, it gives you an illusion of it looking a little bit like lace. It's a, I used a larger tip than I would normally use to do it, but I didn't want to take forever, so um, I did it with a bigger tip, and it still gives you the same illusion um, of it looking like lace. This is all yellow cake, no filling, just a yellow butter cake, homemade butter cake recipe, all buttercream icing. Um, which was great because putting the butter in here, I didn't have to have a pure white icing because her dress is like an off-white antique white. And this is a surprise um, bridal shower. The bride is getting married, and I believe in May, and um, her her wedding is going to be over in Tampa. Um, and I was initially asked to do the wedding cake; it just wasn't um, my schedule wasn't going to allow it. So her mother um, is having, her family over here is having a bridal shower because she, uh, for her. And then she has another bridal shower, of course, the one that she already knows about over in Tampa in a few weeks. This is a prize for her mother, from her mother and the rest of her family. And there you go. And this is really um, uh, something that's... that's um, nice for me because I made our first communion cake and a few of other milestones. I can't remember if I made a graduation cake but or sweet 16, something like that, but I've done other cakes for, for her. So this is nice to be able that they asked me to do her bridal shower cake. Okay.